Hey guys, so this is part nine of the video and I've just started to do the in-app purchase testing here. So we put all, in part eight, we put all of the in-app purchases inside of the iTunes account and I'm, I've got the game open here now on my device. I've just gone and clicked the bottom left uh, question mark to use up all of the hints. So it's asked me to purchase some more hints now. So let's take a look. And I've just clicked the five hints. So I'm just gonna tap in my Apple ID if I can remember this, oh, God, what is it? The test, the test account. God, I can't remember what it is. Uh, I think it's this one. And the in-app purchases gave me such a headache when I first did this. My God, tell me if you guys had the same problem when I was. Even though I had like directions from like Prime Thirty One's website and other other companies, it. Uh, other websites it was just so difficult to get in-app purchases working like I had to like I don't know get a user account and then check it and it didn't oh, I, I don't know I had lots of problems anyway so it was a real headache and tell me if anyone felt the same because I hope it wasn't just me so I've just tapped it in it says uh, confirm your purchase do you want to buy one or five hints to help you solve the puzzle for 99 cents there you go that's the pop-up and click buy and as you can see here down the, in the debug uh, console, um, it's giving me the, it's saying like, you know, complete a transaction and provide content. And congratulations, thank you, your purchase was successful. Cross it off. And there you go, you can see five on the bottom right. I'm just going to go through and I'm going to go to the next level and I'm just going to use them all up and I'm going to buy 20 hints for 2 dollars Bottom right there again. Well, actually, uh, the connection to the iTunes in-app purchase server is okay. All right, that worked well. So 20 there. I didn't have to input my password again because I just did it. And uh, I'm going to go to one of the big boards just so that I can use this quickly. Jumbo pack. Because I'm just tapping through what? these hints super oh. fast. I saw it. Uh, play 11 by 11. Fine. Oh, I yeah. Using all the hints. All right, so now I've got the 50 hints. I mean, I'm, ch I'm trying to purchase the 50 hints now to see if this works. 50 hints buying. Confirm you're in at purchase. Do you want to buy one? 50 hints to help you solve the puzzle, blah, 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 for 5 dollars Yes, I want to buy it. Looking down in the console there. Boom. Congratulations. 50 hints. So I've got to use up all these hints now. I'm just going to go and play this level again, and I'm... All I'm doing is I'm just tapping these hints real fast and playing the level again and again so that my hints go down to zero and then I can check that they, I can purchase the next pack. Oh, hello. Okay, so 250 hints for $20. And uh, confirm you're in at purchase. 20 hints to help you solve the puzzle for $20. Boom. I'll stop this video about 45. I might pause it now because people are coming up. I'll pause it now, I'll come back in a moment guys, people are here.